It's one of the trendiest rooftop bars in San Antonio, right across the street from the Aztec Theater. Today, we take you inside Otro. our hotel on top of a old one-story building that's been around for the last 75, 80 years. Um, and there's a lot of um, tie-in to the city of San Antonio that we kept in the building. Um, but this space specifically, we wanted to keep a more modern feel because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying mm. to try tie old world and new world together. We're gonna start opening up a little bit earlier on Sundays um, nice. and enjoy some of this beautiful weather that we have coming in. Got it. Mimosas, Bloody Marys, Ooh. weekend cocktails. Uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be fun. Live entertainment. Be good. Yes, and the sounds of downtown, right? Yes, you got to take it all bustle. in. You're close yes. enough to it. Yes, I love that. Okay, it's time to go make some drinks. All right, I'm now with the bar manager, Elias, and we have four drinks that you're going to make for us. Four of them, correct. I'm so excited. What's no. the first one? So this is going to be our crowd favorite. Um, we call it the No Seas Fresa. Um, don't be a strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> so you start off with a... Shot of tequila in there. We are going to do a little bit of orange liqueur as well. There we go. This is actually going to be, like I said, one of our most popular. Very light, very refreshing. I know whenever we think strawberry, we think a little bit um, oversweet, overpowering. This is a strawberry basil agave that we do. Ooh. Make this in house. A nice combination. Very nice. It works really well. Um, not overly sweet. Best, best part on that. A little bit of lime juice there for you guys. Mm. Give this guy a little bit of a shake. Okay. Even the salt on the rim is made here. It's a dehydrated lime zest. The next one, Brian had mentioned that we're actually gonna start Sunday Fun Day soon, right? Yes. So I went ahead and we have what is our take on an espresso martini. Ooh. So a little bit of vodka in there. This right here is Liquor 43. If you're not familiar, it's a Span Spanish vanilla bean liqueur that we do, <laughs> that we use, and there is that guy. My goodness. Toss a little bit of cold brew. I'm already loving then, this drink. <laughs> okay, so, and then, so this is actually fun. It's going to be an agave that we do, and we infuse it with Madagascar vanilla, um, and then some orange as well. So kind of putting a little bit of brightness in there, a little bit of just kind of that like baking spice kind of thing yeah. that goes on. Um, this right, vanilla orange Yes, combo. vanilla orange combo mm. with the cold brew at Liquor 43, which is going to be, like I said, Spanish vanilla bean liqueur, a little bit of vodka. This right here is going to be a more or less like an egg white substitute, right? Give that a little bit of shake there. So it starts off. Very nice milky. Oh. Top it with coffee beans and enjoy. So this one right here is actually another one of our crowd favorites, um, not only because of the name, which is the Amor Prohibido, um, and we all know that lyric and song and such, but um, <laughs> so we start off with our um, clay cup here, and um, we have a tamarind puree, and then we top that um, with the tahini in there. Toss a little bit of lime juice inside of that guy, add a little bit of tequila. Then you top it with a spicy grapefruit tamarind soda, made right here in house. One of our most beautiful cocktails. Um, if you like spice, you like that little bit more of like, not necessarily sweet like a margarita, but you want just that little mm. kick to it, this is the perfect one for you. And last but not least, one for Cinco de Mayo. Yes, right? yes. Yeah, so this right here is going to be the 1862 margarita, right? So we're going to put a little bit of tequila inside of there, a little fresh lime juice, fresh pineapple juice, Ooh. a little bit of agave in there. And then for that spice, we're adding some jalapeno. Of course. May 5th of 1862, French invaded the outskirts of Puebla. Um, looked like they were gonna be outnumbered 100% as far as Mexico is concerned. Um, kind of representing that this is, looks like it's a beautiful, sweet drink. Uh, Mexicans actually conquered. May 5th, 1862 was gonna be the landmark that eventually led into Mexican independence. Here's a final look at all the delicious cocktails we made today. Don't forget, Sunday Fun Day kicks off this weekend. That includes pictures of mimosas and sangria. All the information you need on EssayLive.com, click the As Seen on EssayLive tab, or scan the QR code on your screen.